Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to do a animation in Flash. Flash is a vector based animation program designed to create animations for the interweb. I'm going to just click on Action Script 3 to create a new document and here's my little window. Flash uh, does vectors in a slightly different way to most vector based programs. If I draw a square for example in Flash and then I'll draw another one in most software, I've got two squares there. In Flash, they actually interfere with each other, so one damages the other. If you don't want it to do that, and in fact, if it had an outline as well, that outline would be separate to the, the shape. If you don't want it to behave that way, all you need to do is make sure this is switched on. And now if I draw a square and then another square, they're two separate objects. They're not, um, one doesn't um, wipe off parts of the other one. All right, so I'm gonna draw some ground in. I'm going to do, basically I'm doing going to be doing a bouncing ball animation. So I'm going to draw some ground. Oops, I don't want to do a square. That's my ground. Uh, you, you have uh, layers like in um, Photoshop. You end up with a lot of layers in Flash, so you really need to name the, your layers. So I'm going to call that ground. And you need to uh, lock them as well when you're not using them, because that, otherwise you'll accidentally draw on them when you don't mean to, which is really easy to do. I'm going to make a new layer. Call this one sky, and I'm going to draw my sky in. So I'm basically drawing a foreground and background. Just to be fancy, I'm going to draw some clouds in as well. So I've got a paintbrush tool, make it a bit bigger, and then I'll just paint some clouds in. Don't really need to do this, I'm just being fancy. Alright, new layer. I'll call this my red ball because that's what I'm going to draw. And I need a red, red, and I will draw a circle. Anything you animate needs to be in its own layer, which is why you end up with a lot of layers. Uh, and it also needs to be a symbol. So I need to go to modify, convert to symbol to make that a symbol. I'll give it a name. You don't really need to, but I will. And there's my ball. Down here I've got the frames of my animation. If I right click and click on insert frame, that puts an ordinary frame in where nothing's happening. So now I've got an ordinary frame, 20 frames of ground where it's just sitting there doing nothing. I do the same with the sky. Uh, so that's got, I've got sky where it's sitting there doing nothing. I'll just make sure I lock that layer. Uh, and then I'll do the same, or I'll do something different with the ball. In the ball, I'll right click and put in a keyframe. A keyframe is where something changes. So I, I want that ball to fall and hit the ground. And I want the ground to be in front of it, like that. And then I'll put another keyframe in and another one because what I want is in that middle keyframe, I want the ball to squish as it hits the ground. I'm just being a bit fancy. There we go. And then I'll put one more keyframe right at the end. And this one, I will have the ball go back to the top. So if I click on this onion skinning, I can see previous frames. It's not doing anything at the moment because it's just showing me these frames here. But if I drag that right to the end, I can see where the ball started and I can start it back to the beginning. Now if I test this, uh, control, test scene, it's sort of a bit jumpy, well it's very jumpy, there's no actual um, smooth animation involved. To fix that, I'll just turn off my onion skinning, uh, if I right click in between where the animation is happening, where things have changed, click on create classic tween, I'll do the same here, the uh, flash will work out the in between bits for me, so now if I do this, control, test scene, I've got a smooth animation, beautiful. There's a different way of um, animating than this, uh, if, like that's just for a straight line. If you want to uh, have a ball, say, follow a path, I'm going to make a blue ball. Uh, and I'm going to draw a blue ball. Again, I bet I should uh, lock that la other layer just in case I draw on the wrong layer. I'm going to draw my ball. I'm just drawing it off the side so it doesn't um, interfere with when, when I draw the path. Again, modify, convert to symbol, so that because it's going to move. And then if I right click on that layer, and click on add classic motion guide. Now, when I'm on that guide, I can use any drawing tool I've got. I'll use this pencil tool, make sure I'm on a smooth line, and I'm going to draw the path I want it to go. So I want it to bounce, bounce, and then go off the screen. Now, if I put a keyframe at the end of this ball, insert a keyframe because the ball's moving, so I need keyframes. I can grab that ball 
and it will stick to that line. See how it wants to stick to it? So I'll put it on the end, go to the first frame, stick it on the beginning, voila. And again, if, um, if I right click and click Classic Tween, it will follow that path for me. So I go to Control, uh, Test Scene, and I go to bouncing, two bouncing balls. If I want to add some sound effects, I, um, I can import them to the library. So I'll go to File, Import to Library, and find my sound effect. I probably should have cleaned up my desktop before I did that. Open. So now I've got this, a sound effect in the library. I'm going to make a new layer. I'll just drag that to the top. I'm going to call that sound, and I'm going to have a the um, make a bouncing noise when that ball hits the ground. So here, insert keyframe. Okay, so to put our sound in, we need to get our library going. So we need to go to Window Library, and then we just drag the sound onto the desktop, like so. Not particularly intuitive, but there you go. And then if I control, test my movie, test my scene, sorry. Boing, 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 boing. There we go. Boing, boing. And that's how you make an animation in Flash.